Hey everyone, this is ML24 and before we go any further, I want to remind you to keep your phone vertical and uh, click that full screen icon on the bottom right so you can see the, uh, your, uh, your full screen. Uh, now today, uh, I've actually uh, did set some time uh, for just specifically for Yu-Gi-Oh! because I, I've had uh, like throughout the week and since the tournament started, I haven't really had en enough time to play. And if uh, since I did that, uh, I did go on a complete win streak, and I managed to get to uh, to King of Games. And let me see if I can uh, if I can show you where, if, or if it did, yeah, it says King of Games on top. So that's my current rank. I managed to go ahead and uh, get it done. Uh, it's out of the way now, and uh, it was actually. Uh, once you get past the tail burns, there's not as many of them up there. Uh, it's mostly uh, relinquish and then that Venus deck with um, with dinos or some sort of variation on it. And uh, I, I actually didn't even uh, manage to record any of them because I, I forgot to put uh, save replay. And they weren't as good or as interesting because if you get rid of the Venus, they really can't do anything. And I was just getting rid of the, uh, the Venus, and then I won after that. So. There's really not much to show you uh, when it comes to those final decks, uh, Planum decks. Uh, and then after the... Once you get past the tail, there's a lot of uh, uh, Weevils also. I, I think Weevils a little bit more... Uh, it's more prevalent in, the, in Planum 2 to 3 since... Uh, I think the, the that burn deck's a little bit more consistent. Uh, and it has uh, ways to stall out. And it, it's, in my opinion, it's all around uh, better than the Ted uh, deck. Where it's the Ted deck, if it gets the the cards that that it needs uh, at the very beginning, then there's no way you can win against it. But there are some points to where uh, if you're playing against it and if they don't draw correctly or if they don't play the the correct cards, because I, I do think that uh, it does take some uh, some skill, not a lot, obviously, but it does take some skill uh, for you to be able to play that deck correctly. Otherwise, you just get trashed. But uh, overall, the deck that uh, that I played and that I made it to games uh, with was that Relinquish deck that I show, uh, showed you yesterday, and I did have to change one card on it. And I did take out one of the Sonic Ducks and put in a uh, and the four, uh, a four star Ladybug. And the reason for that being is that again, there's a, there was a ton and just a ton of uh, Weevils, and that Ladybug just gave me that out to all the, the the weevils and all the the whistles to where instead of you getting the the parasite you get a, a ladybug and then your your draw isn't as dead uh, it, it's still dead because the weevil deck doesn't really play any uh any good attacking monsters so the ladybug's still dead but it's not taking a thousand damage so uh it is what it is and the, the deck actually performed extremely extremely good um i lost uh one game and then uh the next one it was a draw and if your only out is a draw i would highly suggest that you just let the other guy win uh it, it, it'll be it'll help the other guy out it'll get him to uh, to a higher rank because the draws whenever you do draw it counts as, as a loss for both you and the other person it, it doesn't count as a win it's nothing like that because whenever i uh, i drawed uh it, uh i attacked into a guy or panda and then we hit zero at the same time so it was a draw, and then after that, it, it was told me that if uh, on the next loss, I would um, I would drop down in rank. So just if, if you're only out as a draw, uh, don't be uh, don't be one of those salty uh, salty people. Just let the other guy win. Uh, it'll be better for him, and in the long run, probably better for you too. But this is the deck. It's uh, two relinquish, uh, two relinquish, uh, two Sonic Birds, uh, two Senju, uh, two Spheres. Two Spirit Karibos, one Four Star Ladybug, two Sonic Ducks, uh, three Harpy Lady, and the normal Harpy Lady because we are running the Order to Charge. And Order to Charge saved us a, a, a lot against the uh, uh, Weevils as well. And it's it, it, it wins against the Venus deck because they just can't do anything. If uh, they go they go second and you've already summoned a, a normal Vanilla and you um, activate Order to Charge on their Venus, they're done. They're really there's nothing else they can do, uh, but just pass turn and after that you just completely win. Uh, and then the two obviously the two black evolution rituals and the two wild tornadoes. Wild tornadoes were actually really good, if, uh, especially playing against uh, mirror match, and 
the mirror matches if they destroy the tornado or you can destroy the tornado yourself with Harpy's Hunting Ground and then uh, you just destroy one of their monsters or if you don't have anything to destroy you can destroy whatever's attached to Relinquish and activate Relinquish's effect again so the deck of Raw was, was really good let me show you some replays and um, what I noticed was the higher you went up the more mistakes people made uh, I don't know if it was because they were uh, they were nervous or what it was but they were making a ton of mistakes like mistakes you normally wouldn't do uh, let me show you I think it was against a, a my that I recorded I think it might have been this last one but the only reason I won against it is because uh, she was just making a ton of mistakes and here let, let me show you let me see if this is the the replay that I was talking about all right so it's gonna be a mirror match Okay, and I'm going second. Yeah, it's hard for something now we're both running out. So I do have relinquish in first hand or a way to get relinquish. But I figure I just set set and I did set up uh, uh, in order to charge. So there's Harpy Lady. Uh, and, uh, target, uh, both targets are two order to charge. So I go ahead and chain it, I figure I'll, I'll go ahead and just take the 17. However, I think he does have an ele uh, elegant he gets hit, so he, he, she is going to summon another Harpy Lady. And I think this is where uh, her where she messed up. Let me see if, if it is. Or I don't know if it was uh, his lack of experience, or uh, if this was the first time he was playing this deck, or I don't know what it was, but... Uh, he, he just they were, that uh, that misplay cost him the game. Targeted the security orb and then targeted her harpy lady. Left him with one harpy lady and then uh, in two turns uh, I get a relinquish. So I don't know if it was the, I think this was one of the uh, the games towards the end to where I was really close to getting games. Uh, but everybody up there was just making a ton of mistakes. Everyone in Plan M3 and higher. Uh, I think the pressure is getting to them, and I, I don't even understand why. It's just a game. It's nothing really depends on it. Uh, you're not losing any money. There's really nothing for you to get nervous about. And uh, I'm guessing either they're inexperienced or uh, they were still kids. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But they were making a ton of mistakes, and then after that, after I, she saw that fear scream, it, it, it was it. she surrendered, or he surrendered. I don't know who it was. Uh, the other ones were just uh, they were all okay replays. I don't know. I'll show you one more. Uh, I think I lost this one. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, over, overall, uh, the, the deck worked extremely well. And I think this uh, Pegasus was running mind scanned, and that's one of the abilities I I I enjoy running it. But I just like when it's used against me because they they know what you're said. And uh, if you've seen my videos uh, that I've put a, a while back, uh, mind scan is one of my favorite abilities uh, to use because it gives you a ton of information. And and uh, if you play the actual game, that <laughs> that ability is kind of like cheating because you know exactly what they have. And I don't know what this guy was playing. He was playing some weird deck with the cocoon, and then it was like a weird tribute deck. So that's when you can act like target your own uh, tornado and activate its effect to destroy your opponent monster. So the tornado is really flexible in this deck because you can either destroy a spell or destroy a monster depending on what you need to do in that like situation. So uh, it, this is where I thought uh, I don't really know exactly what this guy's playing. So he was just playing like a mix match of different things. Uh, I guess he got tired of losing and that was working for him because if you can get rid of two monsters like you just saw. Got rid of one monster with the clown and then a second by attacking. A tornado. Okay, then I ordered charge. And I think that's uh, if you're not playing solo exchanges with your tributes, 
uh, this is where uh, it's kind of your down fuckers. Uh, you use up a ton of resources that you really don't have uh, in order to just tribute one monster. And that's the only reason I don't run a, like, a tribute heavy deck because it's, it's just too many resources for not a lot. There's really not that many uh, tribute monsters that are out there that you can use that will give you a huge advantage. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to change a little bit if, uh, if uh, other monarchs get, get released, but for now, uh, tributing is really not worth it unless you're doing it with like soul exchange and a monster that has a decent effect. Like um, there's one monster that lets you draw two cards, I think, whenever it's tribute summoned. Uh, I think I'd use that uh, in a tribute deck. Uh, and maybe some of the element cards that let you destroy everything except their own element, maybe they're decent. But overall, they're not great. The only decent one, I think, is Summon Scars 1 Tribute 25. Uh, that does have some support with it, but overall, that's it. Alright, so, I think we're hitting the, uh, where well, we've already passed the 10 minute mark, and I do want to keep these videos uh, 10 minutes long, so as to, uh, you don't get bored or anything like that, so... Uh, that's gonna be it for today, so I did manage to get the King of Games, and uh, I should have been King of Games a while back, but I just uh, haven't had the time to play. Uh, so, and the, one of the things that kind of, like, pulled me back a, a, a lot is that you had to restart from, like, level zero, from, the way, uh, from what is it, bronze, or whatever that thing is. And just getting from bronze to, like, gold t took a ton of time, and then after that it was already the week, and I just couldn't... Uh, I couldn't uh, get uh, time to go ahead and play, so uh, I've been putting it off a, uh, for <laughs> like for a while, and I've only been recording just those games that I've been showing you. It's really, the only time that I played was for uh, to record for you guys, and uh, I didn't make that much time to play until today. So uh, that was the only reason that it took me a while. Uh, I do have a, uh, like I said, I do have a job, and I do have a ton of things that I need to get done. And uh, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down there in the comment section below. Uh, and if you're enjoying my content, I do highly suggest that you do subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you didn't, go ahead, go ahead and leave a dislike. But just let me know what it is that you disliked about it. So that way I can improve on it or uh, get it to where it's uh, better content. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Like I said, if you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comment section below.